Okay, greetings to all. Uh, this is Dr. M. Shakti Mohan, Assistant Professor, Selection Grade, Department of ECE, KAT, Kalanyet Karunanidhi Institute of Technology. So today we are going to uh, discuss about the tutorials of Xilinx ISC 14.7 software. That is uh, how we will use the Xilinx software. It is under uh, two laboratory that is B23 ECP302 Digital Electronics Laboratory and B19 ECP603 VLSI Design Laboratory. So let's begin the session. So if you want to execute uh, uh, a HDL based programs, uh, you need a tool called uh, uh, Xilinx ISC 14.7. So you have to install the uh, install that tool uh, prior to this task. So just to open the tool, uh, just to go to the start button, and uh, in that uh, there is a folder called Xilinx Design Tool. So in that there is a uh, option called a 64-bit project navigator. Just to click it. So if you click it, means uh, so there is a window will open. Uh, so initially it will show some tips. Uh, so that is not required as of now. Just to close it. Okay. So this is what the uh, Xilinx ISC uh, window and uh, before uh, starting that you have to create a project. So for that you just go to file and there is an option called new project just to click it. And uh, after that you have to mention the project name. So here I am just to mention the name as uh, Shakti and uh, uh, don't forget one important thing is uh, uh, the project location uh, is not be in C colon. Okay, well, so uh, you have to choose the project uh, location as uh, not in the C colon, that is the D colon, E colon. So anywhere uh, you can use it, but uh, C is not permitted. So it is already in the D colon, so no issues. And then click next, next, and finish. So if you finish, it means uh, so there is a created project here. You can see Shakti. Okay, so after creating the project, after created the project, so next you have to create a new source. So for that, there is an option here. That is the under uh, under the file. There is one uh, uh, paper is that one uh, logo is that. Just to click it. <coughs> Sorry, under the design, there is one uh, small logo will be there. There is a logo called a new source. Just to click it. Okay. So in that uh, several options will be there. So now we are going to write a program in Verilog module so that we have to choose the Verilog module option. And then uh, uh, now I'm going to uh, do a program for uh, undk. So for that you have to create a name that is undg. So don't forget uh, you have to choose Verilog module then you have to uh, mention the file name and then click next, next, finish. So uh, then uh, the window will appear like this only. Okay, well, so here you have to click it and you have to uh, press Control All and then delete it. So in this window you have to write a program. So okay, well, so now I am going to write a program for uh, Undigate. So that is module. So the program name and open rocket and uh, the output comma input that is A comma B comma C. So A and B is the input and C is the output and close project and semicolon. And the next line you have to mention the inputs. So input A comma B semicolon. Next you have to uh, mention the output. Output <coughs> and C semicolon. And uh, so module is mentioned and input and output is mentioned. And next you have to uh, mention the body of the program that is uh, and you have to mention the gate name as G1 and open rocket. So here you have to mention output comma input, not input comma output. That is the output is C comma A comma B. That is C is the output and A comma B is the input and close bracket and semicolon and enter. And here you have to mention uh, end module. So don't forget uh, uh, end module doesn't have, uh, you, uh, there is no need to mention the semicolon in the end module and also there is no space in between the end and model. And once you uh, return the program, so you have to save it. So there is an option here, uh, save, just to save it. 
okay once you save it uh, you have to uh, check uh, the error that is we have to compile the program so for that there is an option called synthesis xst here there is an option okay so in that uh, just uh, double click it make a double click <coughs> so it will make some rotation so depends on the program it will take some time and uh, uh, if we in the in our program there is no error means uh, there is some uh, green color tick mark will be there if we have the error means uh, there is some uh, red color uh, ink to mark will be there see here uh, there is a green color tick mark so that means uh, uh, we don't have a error in our program so uh, so that means uh, we we will proceed further <clears throat> okay so before proceeding uh, further first we have to check the rtl schematic diagram so that means so now we wrote the program and through the program we just read write the diagram so that is what rtl schematic so there is a option uh, under the synthesis xst view rtl schematic so how this option will be there means uh, so there is a plus mark in the synthesis xst so you have to click the plus mark now so there is some sub options will be available so in that there is a option called view rtl schematic just to make a double click and in that you have to choose the second option that is start with a schematic of the top level block then click ok so if you click ok means uh, it will show the block diagram and inside the block you just uh, uh, move your uh, uh, mouse pointer and make a double click so now you can see uh, we have the and gate okay well, so through the coding we can uh, get the diagram okay so this is what rtl schematic so this is the first output Okay, so in the observation, you have to uh, take a screenshot of this and you have to paste this uh, output. Okay, next we have to uh, uh, get the simulation waveform. So for that, what is the next process means? Okay, so here again, you have to click the new source. Okay, again, you can see under the design, there is an option, new source, just to click it. Okay, and then uh, you have to mention the name. Already we mentioned the name as and G. So very important point is you have to include underscores db okay well, so db stands for test bench okay so you have to mention the same name as we mentioned earlier and inclusion with that you have to mention underscores db and uh, one more important thing so now you have to choose very lock test picture okay priorly we choose an uh, very lock model so now we choose very lock test picture and don't forget you have to give one the name like this only that is the same name already we mentioned and underscores db db stands for test pinch then click next next <coughs> finish okay so now you can see uh, there is some program okay this is what the test bench program okay now uh, uh, by default uh, it having a single input that is a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero so we have to give when uh, the other inputs for example and gate we have uh, uh, it's a two bit gate that is a and b is the input uh, we have uh, four different inputs will be there for and gate i hope you know that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay but in the test bench program only we have a 0 0 input alone okay well, so for that how we can elaborate the program now just to make a copy okay that is from a is equal to 0 to hash 100 okay well, so just to select this and Control C and uh, uh, click enter here and control V. Okay, so control V and you have to press control V for three times because we have to create uh, three more inputs now. So that is the reason. Okay, now you can see. So the first input is A is equal to zero and B is equal to zero. And the second input is A is equal to zero. And here you have to change the B uh, from zero to one. So that means zero and one. And the third input. 1 and 0 here you can change the a from 0 to 1 and for the fourth so 1 and 1 so that means you have to change both a and b uh, from 0 to 1 so here and just to erase the 0 and enter 1 okay so now the test bench program is ready okay so once you uh, typed all the things okay so again you have to press the save button so you can see here under the edit uh, there is a save option so just to save it okay so after that uh, <coughs> We have to change one important thing that is from here you can see view layer so that is option uh, implementation is uh, already clicked okay well, so you have to uh, click the simulation button here okay well, so once you click the simulation now uh, okay so 
now you can see in the pro under the project uh, uh, our uh, recent uh, dust bench program will be there no so that file name will be available here just to click this okay so once you click it now so there is one more option will be enabled so that is called i sim simulator okay so in this there is a plus mark okay just to click the plus mark if you click the plus mark now there is a two option will be there there is behavioral check index and simulate behavioral model first you have to uh, click the behavioral check index okay if any error is there it will uh, intimate so here there is no error so that is why we received the uh, green color tick mark so the next option is the simulate behavioral model just to make a double click in that okay if you made double click means uh, so there is a there is one uh, simulation window will appear so from here only we can uh, get our output okay so you can see there is a run button here okay just to click it okay once you click it uh, there is no changes okay so but uh, don't worry okay there is one more option called zoom out here you can see there is a minus lens will be there just to make a click again and again okay you have to click up to when the output will come okay you can see here the output will come yeah so this is what the output you can see uh, in the waveform if it is uh, under uh, uh, if it is a downside mean we do it will uh, it, it means a zero and if it is upside mean it will uh, it it is a one okay well, so you can see the first input is zero and zero means the output will be zero so that is indicate la both input will be one and the output will be one okay well, so any one input will be one and the output is zero la okay so you can see the last last time you can see so a is one and b is one and the c is one that means output is one okay this is what the second output so the first output is rtl somatic so you have to take the screenshot of rtl somatic and you have to paste it in the observation and this is what the second output so again you have to take a screenshot of this and you have to <coughs> make a print out and paste it in the observation right so this is what the simulation output okay so uh, in the both the lab that is both the digital lab and the vlsa lab uh, uh, for some experiments uh, you have to uh, complete the procedure uh, up to this but for some uh, some uh, additional experiments uh, having some analysis analysis based experiments uh, you have to do some extra work in the uh, same program okay now we will uh, see that also okay so for that just uh, click uh, just uh, click here okay so click here again uh, here and uh, you have to change it to implementation again and uh, uh, that is uh, in the analysis la uh, we are going to make analysis of uh, area delay and power that is uh, in the simulation base la we just uh, uh, get the output of rtl somatic and then uh, uh, the waveform output okay and for the analysis uh, operation la we are going to measure the area delay and power right uh? okay so we'll see one by one uh, so far that so there is a after synthesis XST, there is one more option called implement design. So you have to make a double click this. So it will uh, make some rotation. Uh, so it depends on the program, it will uh, take some time. <coughs> so please wait. Okay. So if you click the plus symbol in the implement design now, so there is some sub options will be there. So we'll see one by one, that is the area, delay and power. <coughs> Okay, it will uh, complete uh, one by one. So the first option translate is completed. And the second option map is completed. And third option is running. That is place and route. So once we completed the entire thing now, so we can able to see the entire report. That is the uh, area analysis, delay analysis, and power analysis. We'll see one by one. <coughs> <clears throat> so 
So during the processing time, uh, you just click uh, here. That is an option called a design summary. Okay, just click in this. And you can see uh, here there is an option called a synthesis report. So from this only, we are going to uh, see the area and delay. And for the power, uh, uh, there is one more option called place and rule. So in that, uh, we are going to uh, see the power. Okay. So now the entire process is uh, uh, processing uh, is over. So now we just click the synthesis report just to make a double click. So in the synthesis report, so you can uh, uh, just to scroll down. So if you scroll down means we can able to see the uh, area delay and power. Okay. So I hope you can see. So this is what the area analysis you can see. So the number of slice LUTs, number of uh, user logic, number of LUT flip-flops, number of IOBs, okay. So this is what the area analysis. That means you can see out of 63,400 LUTs, we are using only one, okay. So that means we are using only 0%, okay. So 0 means 0 0.001, some percentage will be there. So likewise, we analyze the area. So this is what the area analysis, right. And for the delay, again, you have to scroll down uh, further. You can see here there is a delay. So you can see, for, so total uh, time is equal to 0 0.757 nanosecond. So this is what the delay analysis. Otherwise, you can see here also uh, the total real time to complete and total CPU time to complete. That is real time to complete is 11 second. And for the CPU time to complete is 11.66 second. Okay, so <clears throat> as of now, we discussed about the area analysis and uh, delay analysis and uh, the remaining uh, one parameter is the power analysis. So for the power analysis, uh, uh, how we can see the power analysis now? So from the implement design, lab, there is a plus mark, just to click it. And from that, there is an option called place and route. Okay, well, so in that also, there is a plus mark. Okay, if you click the place and route uh, plus mark now, so there is one option called... Uh, <clears throat> Analyze power distribution that is the X power analyzer just to make a double click. <coughs> Sorry. So now we can see uh, the power analysis also. It will take some time so kindly wait. I hope you can see uh, the power analysis. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, uh, the supply power. Total power is 0 0.082 and from that uh, the dynamic power is 0 and the cohesion power is 0 0.082. So this is what the power required to design the AND gate. Okay, well, so this is how we can able to see uh, the area analysis, delay analysis and power analysis. Since I already told you for some experiments uh, uh, up to simulation waveform uh, we are going to do and for some extra experiment that is uh, after the 10th experiment the, uh, some experiments having the word called analyze uh, the following program using Xilinx ISE. So likewise, likewise if, if, if they are asking the question now, so you have to do uh, up to this that is uh, you have to make the area delay and power analysis. Okay. So wherever you want, uh, you just to take a screenshot and take a printout and paste it to your observation. So thank you. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you can now understand uh, the tutorial of uh, Xilinx ISC 14.7. So in case if you are having any doubts, uh, please uh, mention it in the comments. Uh, I will uh, clarify it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh,